How come it was so important to get Tego involved in this project? Because uh, we have a term that on the streets that we use, a keep it real, and we knew that you know we had to have bring the hotness and the realness. And Tego, you know, he brought that to this picture. You know, he's a he's known all around the world as a as a, as a great uh, artist in, in the hip hop world. He gets respect everywhere, so it was just natural to have him in this picture. Okay, well, how did you two originally get hooked up? Uh, through Frank Reyes. Frank Reyes wrote the with the with the role of Choco in the legal tender for for uh, Tego, and so that's how we ended up meeting. Well, I understand that you got a little tired on the set, and these guys wouldn't let you go. <laughs> Is that what happened? Yeah, it happened. It happened. <laughs> Even though they brought my whole crew to make me feel comfortable, at a certain point, I didn't know how it was, you know, to work in a movie. It was my first my first uh, experience doing a movie, so I got a little tired. But but that's part of the past right now. I'm, I'm looking forward to do more movies. I ain't gonna get tired no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I understand, this is kind of a throwback to the classic mob movies of the 80s is what I was... Yeah, this is like Scarface with a mother and son. <laughs> so is that that's basically what, what you wanted to do is yeah. take Scarface? And yeah, I just you know, wanted to make a gangster movie, but I want to flip it on its kind of thing and make something, you know, a gangster movie with heart. <laughs> You know, you still see people get blasted and stuff and everything, but the, the core of the thing is all the, about the protection of the family, you know, and it's about this spoiled brat kid named Wilson DeLeon Jr. who has been, you know, living a good life. He's going to college, doing whatever, but he doesn't realize the sacrifices his mom's made for him to have this good life. And he never knew that his father was a drug dealer and, you know, and that his mother, you know, has had to go through some stuff. And until he's, his mother, somebody tries to kill his mother, these assassins, and he has to man up and be like, okay, I gotta be there for my moms. But your, your movies have always had a sense of family, and I'm wondering why yes. that, that theme is so important to you and why it would be important in this day Because family has always been very important to me. You know, family, I, I believe, is the most valuable thing that anyone has. Okay, do you ever feel any pressure from certain audience members for you to do one certain thing? Mm, like, no, not at all. I mean, I mean, you look at all the movies that I've made from, from Boys in the Hood to, to Fast and Furious, to Hustle and Flow, to Four Brothers, you know what I mean, Shaft. I, I, I pick different things because of my mood. You know, I, go, I just go for what I want to make as, as an audience member, like what I want to see. So I'm always trying to think about what's next level, what's not being done, and what's hot, and that's what I go with. Okay, well, you won't tell me what you're working on as far as Marvel, if you're doing any of that. But can I get what you're working on next? What do you have a yeah, album, album coming out. out? Yeah, yeah, I got an album coming out August 28th called El Abayal de Contraataca. You got one of the songs that 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 appears on the movie, and it's a great album. I'm, and he encouraged me to do it, and I did in a, in a record time. I did like in six or seven months. <laughs> I put the album together because he encouraged me to do it. So it's all a family affair. Were you doing it while working on this film? Um, yeah, not really, because the movie, I, I, it took, my, my scenes took like three days, only three days, oh, so okay. it was done, my, my part, but it was, I was working on the album afterward. 